What's up StarCraft fans, today we're going to do the tier list for Chilling Adaptation on Minor Evacuation, so Brian tell us about the map. Minor Evac is the map where we have to fight our way to the evac ships, and defend them from the infested as they launch. Okay. We have to successfully defend 5 ships to win. On defend brutal five ships. difficulty, we lose the game if we lose more than one ship. That's right, we can't lose more than one ship. How about the Meteors? Blizzard sends storm clouds across the map going in a single direction. Mm -hmm. Player units and structures inside will take damage and move slowly. Yes. However, there are areas near the base where the blizzards will not deal damage. Transmutation gives enemies a chance to transform into stronger units when they deal damage. Okay. Enemies are guaranteed to transform when they get a kill. So yeah, transmutation uh, makes enemies stronger. The weird thing about transmutation is that you, it's on. Uh, there's like a chart of you uh, tra uh, with transmutation. Uh, the lower tiers transform to higher tiers, and they go up to like the big hybrids. The funny thing about it is that things like aberrations and the infested banshees are not on the transmutation list. So they, when they kill stuff, they actually become like weak units, like zerglings, marines, and zealots. So it's actually pretty funny when that happens. Anyway, with me are two two and Sticksbender. How are you guys today? Great. That's awesome. So, uh, we're gonna once again do it uh, from S tier, which is the best, who can hard carry this mutation, but not necessarily soloing. And then F tier would be the worst who would actively need a lot of help uh, compared to the other commanders. Or actively hurt the ally. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mm. actively hurt the ally, that's, al that's also true. Because there's transmutation. The, the, the funny thing about transmutation is your ally can actually help Avon, as you guys might have seen in the video with six bender <clears throat> i'm helping <laughs> anyway so let's uh, actually begin right now um abather how how do you feel about abather uh, tutu so for my rankings this week the main thing that uh commanders should worry about is enduring or dodging the blizzard and the secondary one is the transmutation because the infested actually don't attack that fast so they don't have a high chance of transmutating and i put abather in d only because he has a very rough start so if you can't get a brutalisk it's like you have no you have pretty bad aoe and you're gonna like lose the first ship the first ship is gonna be that's really interesting hard. i would put him at probably i'd have to move down i'd put him at b where it's like the biggest reason is at b is because Literally, my recommended strategy with Abathur is unless your ally can hard carry the first ship, you I... literally ditch the first ship. Wait, wait, we dump? might have to even say you can't be higher than C. Wait, if you dump, dump the, the first, first ship? ship? What do you mean? Don't dump the first ship. Abduct the first ship. You can also do that, but I wasn't counting the uh, hardcore cheese. With... You mean sacrificing the... Like no, no, letting no, 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 it no. die. You use Draw, you yeah, use a viper. Yeah. You're rushing to a viper. Is recommending that Abathur just use the exploit of you can just use vipers to abduct. It made the this ship whole mutation look like a joke. It made this whole even uh -oh. this whole mission look like a you, joke. Uh, you, let me guess. You used that in your video. I have not yet. I'm still saving. Oh wait, my video for this week. Oh, I was I was thinking you meant the mutation gauntlet. I uh, we haven't used that on the mutation gauntlet yet. But we have used that use in one of my video? videos, yes. On your video for the in week. in okay, fact, cool. I asked my ally to as do that. As, as long as people know how the Viper abduct trick works. So basically what it is, is you can issue a command to abduct the ship only if you don't have vision of it. So what you have to this do is, the fog is of war. when you don't, when it's in the fog of war, you like move your Vipers away so it's out of vision radius. You've seen it so it's explored, but you don't have vision radius on it. Then you click abduct on it and they'll walk over and they'll yoink it. That's why I think Abathur's at least B for this, just because he can ships, actually nullify the whole map. Ships will not auto start without, yes. uh, like they will not auto start if they're in the wrong location. You can actually so, delay it for it, but the thing, the thing is, you, you will can still need to win. Just never do the map. You can just sit there, and the map will just the, the, never. The reason to. why I'm I'm hesitant to put him higher is because a that trick requires you know knowledge of how to pull it off, and b it doesn't necessarily win you the map. You still need to win the map, uh, and yeah, it doesn't cancel out. Tra it doesn't cancel out transmutation. It can still wreck you. I guess if we count it as a legitimate strategy, I would say at least B, maybe A. But if we don't count it, I guess yeah, B. B sounds. Legitimate strategy. He's he's S. Yeah, 
So, uh, Honestly. yeah, if we don't, see, let, let's let's treat this since you guys are the ones uh, doing most of the talking. Let's let's treat this as if it's not counted as one of the legit strategies. So, w w if that's not counted, would you say D? I would say uh, C or B, probably C personally. B. If you don't count that, yeah. See, even without that, you still have the great power of how do you defend? You cast the disabling, disabling cloud. cloud. True. Yeah, you can they actually can't transutate if they can't even act. That's true. That's hard that in the is, beginning. I actually think that is hard to pull off. So yeah, if, if that is what it's you need like, to do, oh. it, he, it does, he does sound like a D tier. If you don't okay. cheese and if you resort to uh, spamming disabling clouds, which are easy to uh, uh, be off, by the way. So yeah, alright, let's put Avatar D. Next, Alarak. Where do we put him? Can I possibly justify not putting him in S? <laughs> Like, yes. the power of Alarak on minor evacuation is just so comedically high. No. So you're assuming here, of course, you're, you're assuming the third prestige. Shadow of Death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So does it dramatically change without that prestige? Yeah, it'd probably be an A without that prestige instead of an S. Okay, how about you, Tutu? Uh, I've put him in B. B. Just what because the, the, S, the S and A commanders are better. At surviving Blizzard. I have no idea how you consider anyone better than Elrak here. <laughs> well, Elrak, he plays all commanders. Units so. <laughs> will die in the Blizzard. There are commanders where the units won't die if they stand which in the Blizzard. Units will die in a Blizzard. Firstly, which units will die in a Blizzard because your units don't even need to exist aside from Elrak and the Mothership. Uh, but that's besides the point. Our Elrak and the your Mothership destroyers. Also, your destroyers can kind of shrug off Blizzards, and also their air units so they can compress infinitely into a small space so they can dodge around blizzards and you know that it... he also requires more work than the s tiers because yeah. alarak naturally has to micro a lot yeah uh, i do not see how someone can do this with less work. i don't know what you're thinking but okay sure Let's mm. put him in a lower tier for now. I will be very i guess I'm we can yeah we at the can moment. we can promote later but i'm kind of inclined to agree with uh, with Tutu here, uh, it's it's true that Alarak and the Mothership are good, but I'm not sure that Alarak those two guys by alone. Himself, uh, those two guys alone can beat the fifth ship with one warp prism for uh, overcharge. Overcharge, okay, when that makes following sense. against freaking boom bots, and there's a boom bot try chasing around Alarak the whole time that you're trying to do the fifth ship. But with transportation, with transportation, uh, they can mutate. They can change like cyclones, doors. Barriers, swarm hosts. You can summon a destroyer on mm -hmm. the spot. Okay, okay. Let's call him A for now. It's it's uh it's the in between between A, S, and B. We'll put him in A for now and then decide later. How about Arcturus, Tutu? A. A because because bunkers are good. Bunkers ESLs are good. Are good. Bunkers are and good. you can bunkers contaminate and strike the waves, but that requires a little skill. Um. But yeah, yeah. prestige one or three, both are good. I would. I, I see how both of these will be effective, but uh, looking at it between Alarak and Arcturus, Alarak has an easier time, I think. He has to do mm -hmm. less actions. He can just stand there and just control one unit. But with Arcturus, it's true... You can just stand true, there and press E every five seconds. It, it's true that you can uh, do both bunkers and earth splitters, but honestly, you have to box like a lot of stuff. You have to right-click, right, like, right -click, build stuff. Like Those are all individual actions. You and have those to all clear out the ship difficult. in time to have time to build things but, around it. Uh, let's you don't have to look at the ship that's, that's... while you're fighting. You can just do other things. You put like four bunkers and put people in them, and you don't. You put your ESOs. That's true. That is the just... wrong way to look at difficulty. Really, but you don't have to look at the ship. What percent of co-op players do you think will be able to avoid looking at the ship, like? Convince, compel themselves to I'm, not look at their army while it's fighting something. I'm saying that you, it's so oh. easy, you don't need to yeah, look yeah. at the ship. Yeah, you we, can. We, all, all he's saying is he don't need to. All, 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 yeah. all, 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 all nothing you don't have to. Yeah. I, uh, my expectation is that for most people, the difficulty here is going to be like, one, uh, you don't need to, you say, but that's assuming you have a really solid setup defense. And two, people are not going to really be building ESOs during ships, and that's they're true. not going to be. They're going to have to be scrambling to clear in time to get bunkers set up. 
I think that for the average player, it's going to be, oh gosh, I'm behind schedule on everything, and then you're going to die. Um, yeah, that, that is that's a lot why... than you're thinking here. Just that's because why... you don't have to look at the ship once you get it set up, getting it set up is more effort than like half the commanders take to defend the ship. Because that's why a lot I don't of commanders quite... like defending the ship is so little effort. Yeah, you have to look at it, but it's like you barely have to do anything. Versus you have to do a quite involved setting up beforehand. That I think is harder than you're giving it credit for. Okay, so so we're we're, we're not quite in agreement with uh, how easy Arcturus is, but I think we're all in agreement with how strong he is on this map. Yeah, steamrolls it. Yeah, um, so uh, because bunkers are good against I infested think... and ESOs are good against infested and both are good against transportation. I think we'll call him low A for now and then we'll okay. move on. We'll, we'll we'll move on and then come back to it later. Okay, Artanis, how about you Tutu? Where do you put Artanis? E D because of oh. D D sorry D D, D. So D. my my all rankings right. for D are all like if you know how to use them they they they're better than D but if you're if you don't know how to use them then they're D any prestige so it's like uh, uh, three is better because of the the arc, arc the unbound fanatics yeah. I recommend P two but okay that also P two is also uh usable but I just run you can't actually just uh start you start your uh, your Archon dudes like one at a time, so that you always mm -hmm. have one tanking and then dealing damage to the infested. I it, it, yeah. it, I do think that P3 is better, and you can start um, each ship yeah. by every five minutes, so you'll always have the solar. Artanis is probably one of the worst commanders for fighting transmutation. I, I agree though. I I agree. I agree. Yeah, and she's terrible against infested. Shield overcharge. Shield overcharge. Solves uh, all your problems. Yes, I forget shield overcharge but nullifies transitation. That, I forget that. That being said, compared to the other commanders, uh, Artanis is kind of brittle. And, You're uh, gonna be massing dragoons, by the way. That is your solution. Yeah, but uh, to your point, do you say D uh, to two? Yes, I said D. All right, I uh, will agree. How, okay, both of us agree with D. Here's the funny thing, though. I would say that Artanis is much easier to use here than Arcturus. Less strong, but it's just massing Dragoons. You just hold down the Dragoon key with the rapid fire and spam them mm, on your... Yeah. <laughs> uh, not strong. The but clearing part is not as easy. There's an unironic chance of dying with that anyways, because yeah. Artanis is that much not strong. If, you're a uh, if your ally is helping Amon with transportation, Artanis is just gonna go like, huh? Here's well. here's how we'll, here's how I here, here's how I consider it. You could the way, the reason you lose with Artanis is because of the commander limitations. The reason you lose with Arcturus is because of your own limitations as a player, not the commander. That's mm -hmm. yeah, that's the two two. Where do you put the Hakas? It, it, it's so, see, we literally did see. the thing together. I don't have mastery level to Haka yet on the third <laughs> on my prestige. I'm not finished prestiging him yet. That is how little to Haka uh, I have. Like. It's this is a brutal plus four, but I don't think this was that hard. Even the hardest, no. the worst commander, I didn't have that much trouble. This is like so, plus two or three in terms of difficulty. So I I, I put the Haka because uh, I can't we can't have all A's and B's right. So I put the Haka as C. C just because so many this people is, are better than like the Haka. Well, I would say well the early game if you're going for Tyrannosaurus, the early game is a little rough, a little bit. You have oh. only the Haka and Glevig. And some primal worms, the, but like that's about it. That's enough, but you don't have many units early on. But here's the, here's otherwise, the thing. it's not that hard. Here's the thing, Tutu. Um, you're probably right that uh, there are commanders who are better than the Haka. But if I were to carry someone, if someone asked me, "Hey, CTG, I need your help with this mutation," I would rather recommend someone like the Haka than someone like Arcturus, just because they're the kind of people who need help from me. To carry the mutation would be the kind of people who would like just be just Probably sit there well, with Tyrannosaurus. Um, but if you I say that, Haka, well, I think the early game with Tahaka, with especially if you're going for a Tyrannosaurus, the early game actually is quite tight to the point that he's probably pretty similar to Arcturus. With you die because you fell behind schedule on your macro and micro. yeah, yeah. But, you die because you couldn't uh, keep to the timetable. I guess this another commander who we'll come back to. Let's put him in C for now, since uh, 
that's where Tutu placed them, and I don't quite have strong feel uh, until I see where the other where the, where the, where the other commanders right, are. Right, we can yeah. adjust them later. All right. I don't uh, think he's that bad. It's just the ones above are much better. Much better. All right. Yeah, let's uh, yeah. let's put Phoenix first. Uh, Tutu, where do you put Phoenix? Also C. Also C. So, wow. Interesting. He's good, but the other ones above are better. So. Phoenix has P1, I used P1. He has lots of splash damage, and he has the Arbiter that can teleport away from a blizzard if necessary. And you have the Conservators that give you redu damage reduction. Exactly. He's good. Exactly. Just people above are better. So My ex I used every champion except the carrier. Oh, interesting. I would mask Colossus here, to be honest. And like, yeah, just I wait. Would go P2. I would go P2. Uh,. I would just yeah, I would probably me, use all the champions. For me I just the turn only, off auto cast interceptor. For me the I only dangerous suit here. The the only dangerous suit for uh for Phoenix here is the infested banshee. And for for those banshees, I'll just wait for them to transform into a ground unit and then I'll smash them with my Colossus. Or but they'll die to a scout because Mojo just says, Hello, one shot. Mojo also works. Yeah, anyway. Mojo so yeah. Let's put Phoenix in C for now because other commanders are stronger. This is interesting. Okay, I'm, how about I am curious as to which commanders Tutu is thinking of that are stronger than this. Okay, Six Bender, where do you put Han So uh, cool. let's put Hanahor in like I don't see them as like anywhere close to our Tannis level, I don't think. I don't think so either. Yeah, let's put uh, it's not put her. bad. Bad. Really? I, so I used P1 yeah, mass carrier I galleons like an e because they aren't actually bad. They're just really not good. Well, looking at these the rest of the commanders, honestly, there are only there's only like one commander who I can see as objectively worse than Han and Horner. The rest of these guys have pretty good options against the mutators. Maybe I'm just uh <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. Han Horner has another small problem, which is that um, if like a transmutated unit trickles and leaves the, the, the battle area and goes towards your base, you have not, like, nothing there. Unless yeah. you have Widow Mines or just waiting. Mines. Well, you're only you waste mag mines. I hope I have enough money to drop a pair of wraiths. Anyway, I think... Uh, does anyone have any strong objections to putting Han and Horner on E? No. Not strong ones. Not strong ones. All I right. put her in D, but I don't think E is unreasonable. Yeah, I think we're both, Tutu and I are both thinking, like, I weakly object to it because D, but E well, is Well, we could, if both of you agree on D, then there's no, there's, I, don't, I don't have any strong objections either to put on low D, but we'll, we'll, we'll move on later. bottom of D. Bottom, bottom of, D. of D. Anyways, Karax. Yeah, Karax. Where do you put Karax, uh, Tutu? I put Karax in S. I was going to say, I'm guessing you're saying this is one of the S tiers. Mm. As you Solarite again. Probe, probe can survive the blizzard. Pro, all the cannons and stuff, they don't die yep. in the blizzard. Mm -hmm. And if they if they if the enemies transmutate, you just use your call downs and get rid of them quickly. You are going to and, spend like ten times as much effort as Alarak would, I am convinced. But yes. Mm. I think that I would put I would put I would put Karax in S still. I agree on Karax S. Alright, so where are you now? I just am as yet unconvinced on any of these people who are supposedly easier than Alarak. All right, so that that was pretty easy. So yeah, cannons, monoliths, energizers, and and your uh, and your uh, spear of abilities. I'm I'm guessing any prestige except the second prestige will work fine for Karax. I, I the use the second one have, too. The second, the second you'd have one. to use a different plan. You'd have to use a unit game plan. Still work. I use mass carriers. It works. <laughs> yeah. So any prestige honestly works for Carax. Just yeah, be Carax. I used P1 and P2. I did both just to try it, and they're both fine. Yeah, P1 right. is nice because pew 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 with the yeah. Chrono Wave. The Chrono Wave. Yes. That's awesome. What's the especially big habit comes? Like, especially, especially since uh, P1 is kind of helpful for if like your ally is helping Amon. If there's a giant hybrid train coming for your base, you set up like five monoliths you press chrono all right so how about They're kerrigan gone. uh stick spender where do we put kerrigan oh kerrigan uh you identify as lurkers you keep them on creep from worms so that they basically just out heal the blizzard and uh you put her in a tier solid solid strategy how about you two two where do you put kerrigan uh, i put kerrigan in b but that makes sense i didn't use lurkers i used ultralisks but eh, that worked too. kind of the same thing 
Same I deal. would say that I would I, 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 thinking about Kerrigan and the work that she has to do, like worms, uh, lurkers, and then use Kerrigan to clear. I don't see Kerrigan as any weaker than Arcturus here. Help me out here, guys. What makes Arcturus yeah, objectively yeah, better than e Kerrigan? Kerrigan is easier than Arcturus, I think, because yeah. you just you just splat down worms. You just like unload all the lurkers from one of the worms. You just click all the lurkers, burrow button. Yeah, and then it doesn't matter. For the anti-air, just sp sprinkle in spores with the rest of your minerals. Uh, uh, yeah, I would, I but, would sprinkle in queens, uh, but uh, uh, let's hear out Tutu. What what makes you say that Kerrigan is uh, less good than Arcturus? No, I, I I looked at my I'm looking at my chart now, and I have uh, I changed my mind. Kerrigan <laughs> is better than a different person I had in A. Okay. So I moved them. Okay. Okay. Let's put Kerrigan. Well, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, also, also, I would strongly recommend P2 or P3. P2 is amazing. The easiest way to do this is Kerrigan as your only anti-air. And, uh, uh, well, if Kerrigan is your only way of shooting down Banshees, it would be nice if her spells can actually hit Banshees. But, you know, you don't even need it for her to be your primary anti-air, because you don't need that much Banty Air, and the Banshees are going to transmute into Grand Jeans anyways, and they get immediately ripped to treads by either Ultralist or Lurkers. Both solutions work. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. We, we kind of agree on Kerrigan as A. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sticksbender, where do you put Nova? People forget. Your Raven's Cloak, whatever they're healing, which just passively means that Amon cannot focus fire if he doesn't have detection against Nova. Interesting. No one seems to remember this. So but when uh, you're in a stand-up fight, which Nova rarely is, but this is like the one map where she is, that comes into play. Now, what tier would I put her in? That's a good question. Uh, B, probably, because it's like... The only I'd put her one. in B. I'd put her in B. Okay, here's the consideration. Is already in C. Here's the consideration. Is she as good as Kerrigan on this map? Or this mutation? No, not close. Not, not close. close. Is she better than Dhaka? I that, would say that, yes. Uh, well, yeah, here, I'm looking at saying, like, is she better than Tahaka? Maybe. Is she better than Phoenix? Well, that I don't think so. So Ew. this is coming down to, uh, you know what? I would say put her in B tier just because basically my only qualm is that I thought Phoenix should have been higher than we put him anyways. So putting Nova above Phoenix, even though that feels weird to me, it, it's already because Phoenix is lower than I thought he should be because you guys thought he should be lower. So put him, put her in B. Okay, how about you, Tutu? Where do you put Nova? I put Nova, Nova and B. B. Because you can go Bio, you can go Liberators, and they both work. And you can yeah. defense, defense Drone, and you live through a Blizzard. Yeah, what mm -hmm. I like about Nova is that she's inherently good against Transmutation because of Defensive Drone. So you can put, like, Siege Tanks, Ravens, Liberators. She has a natural a counter to Transmutation. Although, yeah, uh, Tyrannosaurus will also work, uh, Phoenix will also work, but like, Defensive Drone not only helps you, but also helps your ally, if he decides to help. And like, you have an evac ship, uh, the Gryphon air Airlift, you also have Airstrike in, in case things get really dicey. I think, I just think Nova is, uh, yeah, but not quite Kerrigan level though. The thing with Kerrigan is like, Lurkers are so good at like, deleting Infest in particular. So my, my remaining question is, what makes Arcturus better than Nova? I guess the fact that Arcturus can shell a base without needing to fight. Nova, I guess, also has airstrike, but... Uh, what makes Arcturus better than Nova? Um... Taminated, Taminated strike. strike. Taminated Strike. Yeah, you can like, make uh, enemies not attack you. And stop the attack waves. That's true. That's true. Okay, also, uh, and it's kind of with no resource costs. Well, just mandate. Stronger just mandate. panic button too with mm. nukes. Stronger panic button. Okay, that's fair then. So I guess we uh no we will put Nova firmly in B. All right. Uh, Tutu, where do you put Rainer? Unironically, C. C. With P one. I actually what? I actually kind of agree. I saw Lila do this mutation with me. As Rainer, I do think that it's not a bad choice to put him in. Uh, it's not a bad choice to, to go as Rainer here, even without the first prestige. 
Because you can bunkers are really good at just P2. surviving. P two. Why P2 would you not also. go P two? Why He's... would you not go tank? Yeah. Uh, if you have the option to go the second prestige, you can go the second prestige. But you can also just not not go for any prestige at all, or even the first prestige, because bunkers mm. are so good at not dying. I always use P1 if I can, and if it doesn't work, then I switch to something else, because I love P1. I know it's not good, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Fair enough. Yeah, you, you're, you, uh, remember, so, you remember our Mutation Gauntlet know. challenge run, right, Tutu? You remember our Mutation Gauntlet yeah. challenge run? My bunkers just never die. I expected yeah. them to die and replace it, but just, they just never die. The, so that's why I think that uh, Raynor isn't bad at this Mutation. And ironically, Blizzard. his bunkers are strictly worse than Minsk's bunkers in literally every way. Yeah, but No, not... empty bunkers. <laughs> empty oh, sorry. Bunkers. I'm sorry, yeah, his empty <laughs> bunkers have more damage. All right. Oh, they don't get supply, so... So, oh, still less another supply. argument for P1 is that his because your units have more HP, you have less chance of getting, like, killed, so there's less chance of transmutation. But, but, but... And so P1 lovers, like you have bunkers, but you also can like run. You can you don't have to have all your units in bunkers. So P1 lovers know, can use man. them. Anyway, uh, I kind of agree with C. He's not quite as strong as Nova. He doesn't have something that buffs his ally. And uh, like once the enemy gets through the bunkers, the bio is pretty squishy inside. That's why uh, I don't quite put him on the same tier as Nova. Anyway. Uh, Sticksbender, where do you put that boy? Uh, S. Uh, S. C. He's S. 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 You were um, you were helping Amon, and I didn't even care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your ultralisks are uh, hilarious. Uh, P three makes it the easiest, by the way. If you know you're on an infested map, P 3s Statman is generally the best, actually. Uh, ironically, uh, I'm kind of so but... good. I'm kind of me, but uh, yeah. Do you have where? Where would you really put him, Sticksbender? I mean, it's S or A, probably. <laughs> How about you, Tutu? Really How a. about you? A really? Because of ultralisks. Ultralisks. Actually, I, you know I have what? an I have an argument, guys, for putting you know Stead Boy in S tier. He has the green zone, which actively helps mm -hmm. his ally, and he has Super Gary, who can clear maps actually. and clear out the infested with his E Gorb. If the you more need I think to. about it, the more I think about it, I actually, in my opinion, remember I was thinking I want Alarak to be an S tier, and honestly, if I look at it, in my opinion, the only commander here of all the commanders in the game that I would think is actually easier than Alarak, in my opinion, would be Stepman. Stepboy, yeah. So I actually think Stepman S. The unfortunate thing is that it has to be unanimous before we put him in S, and uh, Tutu is not quite convinced. <laughs> I don't, I don't disagree. Like, I don't have any problems with him being S, just because there's so many good commanders. For this one. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's put him in A for now, but I would put him as the first guy to be promoted in S. If no one else gets if no one else gets S. Okay. Um uh Sticksbender, where do you put uh Stukov? Oh wait, Tutu first. Tutu, where do you put Stukov? F. F. Really? <laughs> he's 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 Pride the only one where I had like to work. I had to work hard game? to not die. He won? P one ten. Diamondbacks tanks? early on, tanks later. Yeah. But still, you have to like run around, and you have to make bu move your bunkers. What did you make bunkers? Yep. Just make siege tanks and diamondbacks. Yeah, see, see here's bunkers the survive the blizzard, so yeah, there, there's like a you line of defense. Off, you just turn off autocast marine on the bunkers. I guess I, um, oh, I didn't do that. So here's the, I didn't here's do the that. Biggest, here's the biggest reason why Stukov suffers against transmutation. It's not because of like his army. Heck, if you were to go P3, it wouldn't even be the problem. Wouldn't even be the Marines. The problem would be that Stukov's entire early game and much of his mid game power comes from the fact that he has one of the strongest top bars in co-op, and two thirds of that top bar is gone because of transmutation. That's true. Just gone. You cannot cast infest structure. You yeah. cannot cast Alex. I guess yeah. The, the, uh, I guess I can see why Stukov would be in F tier because he's the only one who can, who, who just by existing, buffs Amon, buffs transmutation. And he buffs him hard, so yeah. hard. Like it's extreme. But, but if but this is not this. This is not the assumption. The assumption is we have some level of competence here. 
I wouldn't assume if you if you're gonna use Stukov that okay, you would. If you have some level of competence, and if you have enough competence to not buff Amon, then you still have to really work at it to be helping because, like your entire your entire early game is exclusively I have the Apocalypse and that's it, and you can't really send your tanks in because you're not gonna have critical mass until like the third ship, and by then, uh, yeah. kills the are going to actually kill your tanks, and if a Banshee right. kills tank then it's going to transmute into an actually threatening unit and now yeah it's blizzard also kills your tanks oh yeah blizzard also kills your tanks can't forget that all right fair let's put stukov in f i didn't he think we'd have pain I, I didn't think we'd have stukov in f but anyway uh how about swan uh stick spender where do you put swan swan siege tanks good swan. Siege tanks good we're back to hmm. one everyone Thanks, Siege tanks are not that good with the blizzard around. No, yeah, your Wait. turrets. Turrets, 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 turrets. Buildings. Turrets construct also buildings. Good. Yeah. Construct buildings, buildings and good. become Bwan. I, I am literally saying Bwan. B tier. Bwan. Okay, how about you, Tutu? Two, two, two. Where do you put Bwan? I put him in B. B. All right. Really? It's unanimous. That's surprising. Because yeah. he he like he can defend, but c clearing the area there is hard. And while you're building, if a blizzard comes by, your SUV dies, and then you have to wait. That's true. That's true. So Tutu, you said D. B. 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 Next oh, to Nova. I, said, uh, I yeah. thought you said D for some reason. I nice. was confused. All yeah. Right, cool. Um, kind of agree. Uh, I'm, uh, the thing I'm thinking about is like, what I guess. Swan's defense is so good. I'm thinking Rainer's bunkers are good enough to win that they can be just as effective as Swan's uh, turrets. Although, yeah, we, we, know, we agree that Swan's turrets then are stronger. You have to, then you but... have to worry about actually ferrying marines around and loading the bunkers, and those marines can get caught in a blizzard, and then they die. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, blizzard. That's true, that's true. All right, all right. Swan and is B. Swan bunkers is B. bunkers don't even have splash damage. Uh, Put fire bats in there. Asshole. Anyway, anyway. Uh yeah, so we're 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 in agreement that Swan is B. Okay, now Tutu, where do you put us, uh, uh, Tychus? I put Tychus in S, but S. I think Stepman is a good candidate for also S. Tychus, like if you use any prestige, they all work, Lone Wolf or not, you can use. And also, Minor Evacuation is a great her. map for P three. Yes, because you have an Odin. I used I used that prestige in here with my Lila on my Lila video. Um, you just dump, you just dump a rattlesnake healing station, and then he guards one whole side by himself, and then the other three or four guard the other tra the other path. You my, can medevac if a blizzard comes, if you even want to. My argument. And your units don't die. My argument for Stet Boy over Tychus is green zone. In the early game, you can blue zone your ally, and whatever grenade Tychus has, Stet Boy's. Uh, Igor can do, can can also do, and you have Ultralisks that can actually defend like more spots in the map. I don't know. I I I, I would I would argue, I would argue okay. Stepboy over Tychus. But what what do you guys think? Personally, I still think Alarak is better than Tychus, but only just, only just. So you're saying A Stickspender or S? Yes. Uh, probably, I think that I would say, you know, more I look at it, the more I'm starting to think, maybe I would demote Karax even, and say, Stepman, Elrak, Tychus, Karax. So I would, I, I'm going to say Tychus A tier, and honestly, I kind of like, I'm looking at this like, I'm not sure I agree with the top of the rung at all right now. I guess we can talk more about that later. Let's put Tychus in A for now, since it's not, it's not unanimous. We can, we can mm. argue later about who deserves to be an S. Uh, how about Vorzu? D, because D. you need to know how to make a dark pylon wall. Yeah, I agree. You need to, if you, you, need to if you don't know how, you're going to have a hard time. But well, once you can... You can alternatively know how to spam disruptive web, but then you're literally just playing Avatar. Yeah. Yeah, totally... I, no one's going to manually control them, so... Oh, well, D. to be honest, even if you don't manually control them, if you have an up course airs, it almost works anyways. Almost. You need a little bit of manual help. It's DT Corsair all the way, with some cannons behind the cyber cores. Yeah. It, it, it's confirmed, guys. It, the DT stands for D-tier. That's why, why Vorder's yeah. in D-tier. 
Oh no, people are gonna people are gonna complain about complain about us again being being mean to Borzun. But I I I honestly don't see her being higher than D. <laughs> I know some people are gonna be complaining that oracles are guard if you know how to use them properly. Well, yes, but the the asterisk is if you know how to use them properly. And if you know how to use properly is an argument, then all of the all of the guys higher than Borzun, especially Abathur, become way better still. I don't know. I agree with D. Anyway, Zagara. I was gonna put Zagara in F, but yeah. no, you guys she's said not that bad. She's not that bad. I'm I assuming, actually, uh, really? I'm assuming the second prestige here. I'm assuming you said you said the second prestige. The, the, yes, uh, prestige yeah. two is underrated. I'm becoming increasingly confused. Yeah, I saw. I saw it. I saw. I, I also. Tutu. I also am often advocating for prestige two Zagara. I this saw... is not one of the situations when I would have thought of that. Yeah, I saw Tutu's run on uh, on the Mutation Gauntlet Challenge. He used Zgara P2 on this map. It worked out pretty well. So I, I'm kind of inclined to believe him. Um, I guess the only thing about Zgara is that... The only thing that makes Zgara better than Stukov is that she doesn't feed transmutation. With, if she just makes, like, yuts that don't die quickly. If she makes, if she makes Zerglings here... She'll be just as bad you as Tukov. Don't make Zerglings. Yeah, you just make yeah, abs. Don't ever make Zerglings. Just make abs and like bile or abs. something. Buff so, abs. Buff Zerg. I, I put her in E just because you need to know how to like place bile launchers. Agree. You don't have to control them all the time. You just have them hit the same spot. But you I need agree. to know where to put them. I agree. I agree with E. E seems fair to me. I agree. For Zagara. Um, Zertul. Uh, where do you put Zertul, Sixbender? See B or A. Oh, it's hard to place him the same tier as Swan, to be honest. But Nova is also in B, so I'm thinking what I, do we, do we just do we just say Cannon's good? Yeah, B, for yeah. for Cannon's, Cannon's good. Cannon's good. Cannon's good. good. Cannon's good. Do we uh, add in? Plan. Do we add in? Uh, the shield guards here, or just really cannons good. You don't need shield guards. I would go really cannons good. What do you spend gas on? You can, <laughs> you can uh, also you, trap the uh, artifact. Accumulate. On you accumulate enough gas to corner the gas market and drive up market prices, so you can sell out for a shit ton of minerals. Or give it to Vorazun, so she can be better. Or that. Or anyway, I give it to Nova. So Nova can. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, Nova where, needs it. Nova needs the gas. So where do you put Zeratul? B. You say B. B. Hmm. I have serotonin A, but yeah, the everyone in A and B seems like everyone pretty good. Everyone in A is clearly above Zeratul is the problem. That. How about you, Tutu? With what? Why? Demoting Zeratul B. Oh wait, you're saying Zeratul A. I put Zeratul A because, well, look I trapped the, the artifact. Other... So look if you trap the artifact, other options. You... look at the other options. Not Mang Square, considering the yeah. I'm, I'm already... looking at the A. I make, I'm looking at the A tier. We have our Alarak, Stetboy, Arcturus, Kerrigan. The is only one who Zeratul keeps up with is Arcturus. Yeah, okay, I can sure. agree. So and then the deck the shield on the 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 cannons prevents transmutation too. Ooh, that's, that's useful. True. That's true. Uh... Okay, so then I actually would say Zeratul is above Arcturus, but Tychus, Kerrigan. Yeah, Tychus, Stepin, Stepboy. Mansk. Or not Mansk, Alarak, I mean. Mansk is below Zeratul. Mansk is below Zeratul, straight up. Uh, move Mansk down. He's, he's worse than Zeratul. Do you agree, Tutu? No. No? What? Uh, Manx has to do less work than Zeratul. Manx is worse than Zeratul? Uh... Really? Less work? No, I don't think so. I don't think Manx is worse than Zeratul. Manx cancels out attack waves. Zeratul's base is a cannon farm. Attack waves don't matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of more inclined to say uh, Zeratul is definitely above Arcturus. Not because, he's, not because Zeratul is stronger, but because Zeratul is easier than Arcturus. Because too. Uh, I, I, I keep I keep saying that uh, Arcturus is uh, a lot more involved. The, the, what I mean by that is, you have to box select your workers, right click them, 
to each individual uh, ca uh, mul um, uh, earth splitter that you try to make, and then you have to time your uh, uh, contaminated strike. Then you have to yeah. There's there's so much more work with Arcturus compared to Zeratul. Zeratul, you don't have a you don't have supply, you don't have like multiple multiple workers focusing on construction. You, you can you just have one probe on same hotkey. You don't even have to be on top of getting to the ship in a timely fashion. You can like void seeker over to the ship two seconds before it starts itself and summon cannon farm. I don't know, Tutu. I'm not convinced that I'm not convinced that Arcturus is easier to use than uh, than Zeratul. Uh Okay. Maybe I'm just used to using him, so yeah. I don't find that as difficult. I mean, but... yeah, I'm a bit biased towards being a Zeratul main, but Zeratul's... yeah, I honestly think Zeratul is. I really think Zeratul is gonna be I mean... easier than Manx Cure and straight up stronger than Manx Cure because Cannon really good, Monolith really really good, and stuns. Which stunning is pretty good against transmutation if you want to not get transmutated, and. Yeah. The thing the thing about Arcturus is you can you you can miss your macro with Arcturus if you're late on like supply depots, if you're like late, late on upgrades. With Zeratul, all your upgrades are based on artifact fragments. All your all you don't your cannons don't cost supply. So you don't get supply blocked. You don't get you don't forget upgrades. And you have a strong hero unit to anchor your forces. And you're inherently transmutation proof because all your buildings don't yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. All I, right. Uh, I think I think Zertus definitely. Also, you have an incredible here. hero unit. Yeah, I think I think this this looks fairer. Uh, I think this looks fairer now. I think someone's. I think someone in D should go down to E. Hot and Horner. Hot and Horner. Do you agree to two? Hot and Horner. Uh. Hmm. Forasun. But Forasun uh I guess the nice thing about uh, Han and Horner is you, you can have yeah, like, I think I'm thinking that like both of us are looking at Han and Horner and Forasun, it's just we have to decide which ooh, of the two. Right? Yeah, which one it's to do. Clearly one of those two, right? All of us agree yeah. it's one of those two. One of those two. Okay. Yes. Yeah. How about this guys? Both of them? <laughs> both of them? And then Zagar goes down to F. I agree with this plan. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Mother of Constructs finally has a chance to shine. Yeah, don't worry. Just a wait little bit. <laughs> just wait till Diffusion Void Thrashing, and then I'll have to say that I'm sorry, but P2 Zagara, despite Diffusion, is going to be up at a high tier. I, I mm. have no idea how effective it is. Uh, it's silly. Yeah, I, I think Zagara is closer to Stukov. Than she is to one of the one of Vorazun or Hot and Horner, just because she runs out of gas on uh, she runs out of steam. She's uh, yeah aberrations. Then again, is is one of Hot and Horner or Vorazun better than the other, or are, do they own ha do they each have their strengths and weaknesses? They they each have their strengths and weaknesses. I think we're both looking at Vorazun and Hot and Horner, and we're both like. I'm leaning slightly towards Hunter Horror for demotion. Tutu's leaning slightly towards Vorzun for a demotion. This already tells you the situation. Kind yeah. Of. And Zagar's the only one who... Yes. Zagar's clearly worse than both of them. Just because yeah. she's... Yeah. So that's why she's, she belongs to F. Oh well. Now for this... Now for the, now for the other part. Who gets demoted to S? Or oh, promoted. Demoted? Who gets promoted? Pro sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Who gets promoted to S? Stepman. I agree with Stepman. Personally, Boy. I would personally say Stepman and Alarak go to S. Okay, and we're Karak unanimous. Goes down to A. I honestly think Karak should go down to A. Okay, who is Karax worse than among the A tier commanders? Alarak, Alarak and Tychus. Both Alarak and Tychus. Mm. I guess. I guess it's true that. Alarak and Tychus both have a stronger offense than Karax. Karax purifier beam clears areas. I guess. Observer. Buildings. If you want, you can use Observer. 
true. You can cannon push from the side, and the cannons, since the, if you can't push from the side, those, like, the enemies will spawn there anyway, so they, they, they're not wasted, they'll be just defending. You have to eventually build... Uh, consider this, consider, you consider this, you two. Get your cannon. For Arcturus, F to a lull. For Tychus, F to a lull. That's, that sounds easier to me then. <laughs> Yeah, flying an observer in, flying an observer in, using your uh, using your uh, solar lens or a purifier beam, microwing the beam to target the correct things. Uh, that's I I know I know Carax's defense is uh, solid, but I've always I've always disliked this part of Carax's defense, specifically the lack of splash. Yes, against against infested, you want splash. Get the fire lance. That's true. That, that's true. But <laughs> it's when it actually matters. You sh you should have fire lance already. Yes. Hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't quite think Carax is S anymore. When I see like the guys in A. How about this? I guess. Oh yeah. Go ahead. If you're if you're like saying based off, if you're considering like the ease. Like how easy it is, then yeah, Carax can go down. Okay. I also think I also think in terms of effectiveness, like honestly, I think Zeratul cannon gooder than Carax cannon here. Mm. Just that Carax has Spear of a Dune. I guess is... I guess my last defense for Carax here is that Carax helps his ally with Chrono, with repair beam. And, and with also the solar lance has fire damage. Solar lance fire damage is just like okay, that puts Carax's top bar. Way and also the energizers. Better. Yeah, if you have energizers in the uh, in, uh, in the ship, you can buff your allies' units. That's the only thing I can think of w with Carax being better than the guys in A. Alarak and Tychus are both really strong, but they're you walk like up with heroes. You delete everything. You don't even need an ally. Yeah, but this is co-op. So, like, the fact that you're- we're, we're not considering soloing here, we're considering co-op. Okay. So with, okay, with the Carax- I'm say, What I'm saying is that I, I'm saying- I, I'm not saying that your ally will be helped. I'm saying that you'll be so strong that you won't even notice it if your ally goes AFK and you just fail to accidentally- accidentally fail to notice. Okay, how about this, guys? If- if the ally is Tukov and he accidentally or deliberately feeds the enemy, who would you rather have? Stukov? Or rather, who would you rather have? Karax, Stepboy, Alarak, or Tychus? If your ally Karax. feeds... Karax. Karax. Because, because the, the things that are fed will go to your base. That's a and good you point, actually. And then you overcharge three pylons, and the things that are fed will start to get ripped to pieces really quickly. And if you're P3, you just mass teleport your entire everything over there immediately. Yeah. If I if I'm stat boy, I would just uh teleport back to base with Gary. Yeah, if you're stat, you and then yeah, he does. Gary does lose an ultralisk ever under any circumstances whatsoever. Yeah, you could leave your ultralisk to do what they're. I, I've actually experienced this multiple times on this map. I didn't even watch my ultralisks defend the ship. I was just putting out fires with with like, super Gary. And <laughs> little little known fact, little known fact. If uh, if Stepman defends, if Stepman defended the temple on Shakuris when they blew up Shakuris, uh, after blowing up Shakuris, his Mecha Ultralisk were still alive. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Ah, uh, yeah, the Ka it's true that Karax is better to have if your if your ally feeds transmutation, but overcharge is also pretty good. Omega Worms. Omega like, Overcharge is better. Overcharge is better for if it's like, you know, a little, uh, uh, a smaller feed, like, you or know, like a single hybrid. Up and there was a, a couple hybrid or something, like, but Kerax is better if it's like, oh, I just created 30 hybrid. <laughs> you don't create 30 hybrid, man. What would, what would you do? Oh, you need to feed like uh, it's <laughs> like if you just get your if you get your army wiped if your army gets wiped somehow oh. the thing is that's not very likely to happen with this, these mutators but if your army does get wiped for any reason it's a lot of hybrid okay uh, is there any any argument 
uh, that Tychus has if your if your ally sends infested to your base, or if your ally sends uh, trans hated stuff to your base. Did you remember to have your medevac platforms built? Yes. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, big red button. Oh, you're extra fine. Fair, fair. This is if hard. If you're lone wolf, you have a dude at home. If that, you're lone wolf, you already have a dude. But I wouldn't do lone wolf for this one personally. I yeah, I wouldn't use lone wolf here. You can, but I, I wouldn't. But you can. Yeah. You can. I would. I would I prefer the third one here. The, the the dog walker. What? No big red button. What is this madness? Oh no, no big red button on an infested map. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing, consider, P1. Sirius can have like 12 turrets out at once. Yeah, but Odin has natural splash. Oh. If you have that many turrets, you don't even need a second outlaw. Uh. Second, third, fourth, fifth ship all have Odin defending. Yes. Anyway. Man, this is hard. How about we just put Carax among the A's and just have Stat Boy alone in S. Let's just call this the, the Stat tier. St st stat. There we go. Ah. Let's just let's just have this instead. These these guys in A are all good, but I, I think they're all pretty similar. I think at the end of the day, Stat Boy Statman is just... is just so good. He's so good. Yeah. It's honestly almost impossible to die as Stat Boy on this map. Because, yeah, he, he also even buff your ally with the green zone. Purple zone if he, he has energy-based oh, yeah, units. About that. Like, blue zone at the beginning of the game. There are just so many ways Stat Boy just kek Ws at this mutation. Compared to, the, compared to the ones in A. Like, you really have to mess up a Stat Boy. You're, uh, guys, being A is not a dig. Karax, Alarak, Kerrigan, and Tigus are all really good commanders. And I would argue even Zeratul and Arcturus are, are really good commanders. It's just that they're not quite as easy to use on this one as Death Boy. Because I hear I hear you guys. I hear you. With Cass, you can, you can just uh, plop down cannons and you'll mostly be fine as long as you use your top bars. With, with Death Boy, you can literally just leave your Ultralisks at the ship. And you can, you're pretty much guaranteed that the ship will be able to lift off. That's how strong he is. Even if your ally is helping Amon. Even if your ally is helping Which Amon. Watch didn't. that video, guys. Watch that video. I wasn't even... I'm not kidding. I I didn't even look at the ships. I was only... Oh, Mass freaking brood lords. My ally. <laughs> Mass dude lords. And also it's like, hmm, delicious. Mmm, tasty hybrid armies. Mm, but yeah, that's why that's why Kerrigan that's why Kerrigan is still an A. This because despite the fact that she was actively feeding the uh she was actively My feeding the hero Amon, unit got Kerrigan, like half the total kills in the game. Exactly. Kerrigan alone with the second prestige is so good. By the way, um with I guess without the third prestige, Stepboy can go down a little bit. But I haven't tried the Ultrisks without the third prestige on this map. They still don't die. It's not they it's not as die. silly, but they still don't die. Like honestly, the third prestige, it doesn't help their survivability as much as it helps their damage because their survivability is already near infinite. Right. Alright, so it doesn't matter what prestige you are with Stat Boy. Just be Stat Boy. And I guess have a decent CPU and you'll be fine. For the guys in A, some 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 level of uh skill, I guess. You need to Dodge your destroyers. You need to have a war prism with overcharge. You need to have omega worms. You need to know how to uh, morph and burrow lurkers. You need to uh, have the solar lands you, ready. Or you just boost. need. Or you just need your two. For, wait for Carax. For 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 these four guys in A. Yeah. For Tychus. Well, for the Elarac one, honestly, you just need for the Elarac one, you just need a, you your two hero units and a single pylon. For Ty, what's? Hmm. I guess Tychus. Elarac has basically the same thing. You just need to press ability button. Yeah, and press ability down. buttons. For Stat Boy, you don't even need to press ability buttons. You just have. You have just exist. Ultralisks. You just exist. exist there. You exist. My goodness. So yeah, Stat Boy S. Stat here. And the guys, four guys in A, uh, four guys in B, 
you guys can see, it's a really upward tilted. It's a really upward tilted tier list this week. If we were to try to, uh, if we were to try to, uh, 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 bell curve bell curve. this, I would put Nova and Swan both in C, but really high C's, and then uh, I would demote someone from A down to B. But it doesn't. You demote from A, honestly. Just uh, I would I wouldn't know. I would just have a uh, a token token demotion for just for the sake of being just having something B. But that would be disingenuous. Do we do rankings here, guys? I don't know how to rank the guys in A. Uh, well, I mean, you already know how I feel about it. I yeah. feel it's Alarak Tychus. How about you two? How would you rank the guys in A? I guess no. Al, uh, Tychus. Tychus first. Tychus first. I, I, you don't have to change it. I would. Tychus, Carax, Kerrigan, Alarak. How about you, Sticksbender? Alarak, Tychus, Carax, Kerrigan. <laughs> so the question is just where to put Alarak. Yeah, just put him in, in the middle somewhere. Uh, right there. Tutu wants him at yeah. the end. I want him at the front. Put him in the middle somewhere. I I do kind of agree that. Uh... I just think like, there's just. What if like, people just make more than they should, and then they, those things will like feed. They might end up feeding. That is liter. You are correct. That is literally the biggest risk with Alarak, is that people will make more units than they should. It's like you make a bunch of destroyers, they get weakened in the blizzard, and then they get if killed by us. With Alarak, the it. problem is probably that you made too many units, which is a weird concept. You know what? That's not a problem with Karax. Hmm. Okay. Not a problem with Kerrigan either. Okay, sure. Put Alarak at the bottom. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Because, yes, you can literally There's mess up potential. by making too many units that you accidentally feed. Yeah, and not just, you know, not just, not just, made. not just, not uh, just filler units. Like, Kerrigan, yeah, you can have Zerglings as filler units. Absolutely don't make those. Do not make those in this, in this mutation. But for Alarak, uh, you don't, even if you don't, the swords are not filler units. Uh, they're, they have damage output, but, uh, you can actually make too many of that's true. For the guys in B... I guess if anyone's gonna get demoted down to B, it would be Alarak, so then demote these two guys in. Rankings for B, I guess it's already correctly ranked, I would say. The guys in B already yeah. correctly ranked. Yes, I think so. For C. Oh, Tyrannosaurus good for C. Uh, yeah. Phoenix is just better than Raynor, I think. With, with yes. We have Inherent Splash. And Raider has feed potential. That's why, yes. yeah, he's down there. D. I would say actually Artanis over Abathur. Because mm -hmm. uh, Artanis I, is easier. By the way, I, I still think Phoenix Mend. should be over to Haka, but. Mend? Mend is good. How much Mend do you have, man? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. I'm thinking the early game. I'm thinking the early game, really. Literally, uh, Avatar is just the early game exists. Uh, Suffer. I guess we could just call them tied for D. It doesn't matter. I would, I would give our a spot. I would also give our a spot just because, like, just by virtue of our being easier to use. Just make dragoons. If I had the complete use as ally, and he just wants the EXP, but he doesn't know how to play StarCraft 2, hey, pick our don't use Prestigious, and have Garden Shell. Amazing. Now my ult now my stat boy ultralisks with green zone have garden shell. And now it's literally impossible for me to lose ever. <laughs> Just tell him like honestly, don't make zealots. You're literally gonna be helping Amon by doing that. Literally, do not make any. B A F K. B A have garden or shell. That. B A F K, and I'll win on my own. <laughs> but also, like seriously, like just. Tell them to just like make dragoons. Do not make other units. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred. Just make dragoons. Just make dragoons. Yeah, that's why. That's why I put our, our times uh, on D. Like if if I had like a six year old cousin who just picked up StarCraft two for the first time, show him call up. Hey, play this guy, and I won't care what he does. I would just have Garden Shell, 
Yeah, and be happy. honestly, being Stepman and having Guardian Child, it's like, you never you die. Can try to help Amon all you want. I'm still gonna win this thing. Yeah. For E, I guess they, they can they can both they, they can both be tied at E. And for F, Zagara better than Stukov, just because Stukov has a higher feed potential. Next time. Oh, and by the way, if if Abathur, if you consider the abduct cheese for Abathur to be legit, I would put him in A, just because like abduct is so good, you can cancel out the mutation. But that's not. We, it turns out we're not considering that, so uh, Abathur stays in D. Uh, watch two two and sticks better YouTube channels linked in the description below. If I remember, I'll even put them in the in the, in the comments. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.